Maposaurus, literally Earth Lizard, was a giant carnivorous dinosaur belonging to the family Carcharodontosauridae, which lived in Argentina during the Tyronean period of the late Cretaceous. The fossils of this dinosaur were excavated between 1997 and 2011 as part of the Argentine-Canadian Dinosaur Project in a formation of the Huincul Formation, late Cenomanian to Tyronean, in Cañadón Delgado. It was described and named by paleontologists Rodolfo Coria and Phil Curry in 2006. The name Mapusaurus comes from the Mapuche word Mapu, meaning of the earth, combined with the Greek term Sauros, meaning lizard. The type species, Mapusaurus rosei, was named both in reference to the pink rocks where the fossils were found, and in honor of Rose Letwin, who financed the expeditions that led to the discovery of the fossils. The holotype assigned to the genus and species, Mapusaurus rosei is an isolated right nasal bone, MCF-PVPH-108.1, from the Museo Carmen Funes, Paleontology of Vertebrates, Plaza Huincul, Nuquén. Twelve paratypes have also been assigned, based on other isolated skeletal elements. Together, the numerous fossils recovered from the Maposaurus bone bed represent the majority of the skeleton of this dinosaur. Maposaurus has been found to exhibit autopomorphies, that is, unique features in parts of the skeleton that are not preserved in Giganotosaurus. The main difference between Maposaurus and Giganotosaurus is the absence of a second opening in the middle quadrate bone in Maposaurus in addition to some variations in the topology of the nasal rugosities. The genus and species were described at 2 million and 6 by paleontologists Rodolfo Coria and Philip Curry, based on several fossils found, and it is believed that there are remains of more than seven individuals. This was undermined by the presence of several femurs and tibias, which led to the possibility that these animals could have hunted in groups. An interesting fact is that although Maposaurus was a colossal theropod, it was not as large as Giganotosaurus, which we will discuss later. Despite the large amount of fossil material available, no complete skeleton has been found, with the majority being composed of large bone fragments. Among the fossils was the largest specimen described to date. However, it is important to highlight that, as there is material from different individuals and none of them is complete, these estimates may be adjusted in the future. For the continuity and dimensioning of Maposaurus, we use Giganotosaurus carolini as a basis. After analyzing the fossils and replicas of Giganotosaurus and Maposaurus at the Carmen Funes and Ernesto Bachman Museums, we worked together with Dan Folks, Random Dinos, and my team to create a reference skeleton that was used to estimate the size of several specimens. Let's start from the smallest to the largest. The smallest specimen of Maposaurus found to date MCFPVPH 108.3, measured 5.5 meters long and was a juvenile. The specimens MCFPVPH 108.33 and MCFPVPH 108.44 have femurs of very similar sizes, measuring respectively 1 meter and 16 and 1 meter and 19. Therefore, the size of these specimens would also be similar. The specimen MCFPVPH 108.33 would have been about 10 and a half meters long, two meters and eight meters high, and would have weighed between 4,500 and 5,500 kilos. The specimen MCFPVPH 108.44 would have been about 10 meters and seven meters long, two meters and nine meters high, with a weight between 4,700 and 5,700 kilos. In turn, the specimen MCF PVPH 108.2 and 3, with an enlarged femur, measuring about 1 meter and 20, would have reached a length of 11 meters, 3 meters high, and would have weighed between 5,000 and 6,000 kilos. The largest specimen identified is the MCF PVPH 108.502, which includes an 86 centimeter fibula, enlarged longer than the holotype of Giganotosaurus. Based on this data, it is estimated that the femur of this Maposaurus would have been about 1 meter and 40 in length, and it could have reached up to 12 and 6 meters in length, 3 and a half meters in height, and weighed between 7,000 and 7,600 kilograms. This size is compatible with the idea that the Maposaurus coexisted with, and possibly hunted the giant Argentinosaurus huinculensis.
Finally, the largest known specimen, MCF-PVPH-108.145, has a pubic shaft about 10% larger than the Giganotosaurus holotype, suggesting that it could have reached approximately 13 and a half to 13 meters and 66 meters in length, three meters and seven meters in height, with an estimated mass of between eight and 500 to 9,000 kilograms. Even the largest specimen of Giganotosaurus, MUCPV-95, is described as being only 8% larger than the Giganotosaurus holotype. Thus, the reconstruction was performed using the largest cranial remains available, which may also approximate the size of Giganotosaurus, such as a massive maxilla and a dentary measuring 11 centimeters in depth. If correct, Maposaurus may have the largest skull of any theropod known to date, at least among the specimens currently discovered. This is because it is probably the largest known individual within the South American clade of giant-headed Carcharodontosaurids, the Giganotosaurus. The fossil remains of Maposaurus were found in a bone bed that contained at least seven, and possibly as many as nine individuals at different stages of growth. Coria and Curry hypothesized that this site could be the result of an accumulation of carcasses over time, perhaps caused by some kind of natural predator trap, which could provide clues about the behavior of this dinosaur. Other known theropod bone beds include those of the Dromaeosaurids Deinonychus and Utah Raptor, those of Allosaurus at the Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry in Utah, and the Tyrannosaurids Teratophaneus, Albertosaurus, and Dasplitosaurus. Paleontologist Rodolfo Correa of the Museo Carmen Funes suggested in a press conference that this concentration of fossil bones could indicate that Mapusaurus, like Giganotosaurus, may have hunted in groups, cooperating to take down large prey, such as the enormous sauropod Argentinosaurus. If true, it would be the first robust evidence of gregarious behavior in large theropods other than Tyrannosaurus rex. However, it is not yet known whether these dinosaurs hunted in an organized manner, like wolves and lions, or whether they simply attacked in packs. The authors describe the depositional environment of the Huincul Formation at the Cañadón Delgado site as a paleo-channel freshwater deposit formed by an ephemeral or seasonal stream in an arid or semi-arid region. This bone bed is particularly interesting given the scarcity of fossils in the Huincul Formation, an ontogenetic study by Canale et al. In 2014 discovered that Mapusaurus exhibited heterochrony, an evolutionary condition in which certain ancestral characteristics are maintained in juveniles, but disappear as the animal matures. In the case of Mapusaurus, the maxillary fenestri were present in juveniles, but progressively disappeared as the animal grew. The cladistic analysis performed by Coria and Curry confirmed that Mapusaurus belongs to the clade Carcharodontosauridae. The authors noted that the structure of the femur suggests a closer relationship with Giganotosaurus than with Carcharodontosaurus. Based on this relationship, they proposed the creation of a new monophyletic group, the subfamily Giganotosaurinae, defined as all Carcharodontosaurids more closely related to Giganotosaurus and Mapusaurus than to Carcharodontosaurus. They also provisionally included the genus Tyranodotan in this new subfamily, pending the publication of more detailed descriptions of the known specimens of this species. In their 2022 description of the large Carcharodontosaurine, Meraxes, Canale et al., presented the following relationships for Mapusaurus and Giganotosaurus. As mentioned previously, the Huincul Formation is believed to represent an arid climate environment characterized by temporary or seasonal streams. The age of this formation is estimated to be between 97 and 93 and a half million years ago. The record of dinosaurs in this formation is considered scarce. Maposaurus shared its habitat with the sauropods Argentinosaurus, one of the largest, if not the largest sauropod ever known, Chocansaurus, Chucurosaurus, and Cathartosaurus. Another Carcharodontosaurid called Meraxes was also found in this formation, but in older rock layers than those associated with Mapusaurus, suggesting that they did not live in the same period. In addition, the Abolisaurid theropods Scorpiovenator and Elocalesia also inhabited this region. There is some evidence to suggest that Mapusaurus rosi may have hunted in packs based primarily on fossil finds and interpretations of their behavior. 
fossil bone bed. The most compelling evidence comes from the discovery of a bone bed in Argentina that contains the remains of multiple Maposaurus individuals of varying ages and sizes. The presence of numerous individuals together in a single location has led some paleontologists to hypothesize that these theropods may have exhibited social behavior, possibly hunting in groups. Although the bone bed could also represent a group of animals that died together for other reasons, such as drought or flooding, it suggests the possibility that they were interacting as a pack before death. Large prey hypothesis. Maposaurus coexisted with some of the largest herbivores ever known, such as Argentinosaurus, a huge sauropod. It is hypothesized that a single Maposaurus would have had difficulty taking down such gigantic prey on its own, suggesting that group hunting may have been an effective strategy for these predators to attack larger animals. Comparisons with other theropods, similar theropods such as Allosaurus, have been found in mass death assemblages, suggesting possible social behavior or group interactions. While this is not definitive proof of pack hunting, it does support the idea that large theropods such as Mapusaurus could have coordinated their efforts to hunt larger prey. However, it is important to note that the evidence remains circumstantial and there is no definitive proof that Mapusaurus rosei actively hunted in packs. Paleontologists continue to debate whether these bone beds indicate group hunting behavior or whether they are simply the result of unrelated individuals dying in the same location due to environmental factors. The fossilized pollen found indicates that a wide variety of plants were present in the Huincul Formation. A study carried out in the El Zampal section of the formation identified the presence of hornworts, liverworts, ferns, silagonalals, possible noigarathiales, gymnosperms, including netophytes and conifers, as well as angiosperms, flowering plants, and several types of pollen grains of uncertain origin. The Huin Kul Formation is among the richest associations of vertebrates in Patagonia, preserving a great diversity of fauna, such as fish, including dipnoans and gar, chelid turtles, squamates, sphenodonts, neosuchian crocodiles, and a wide variety of dinosaurs. Vertebrate fossils are most commonly found in the lower part, that is, in the oldest layer of the formation. As we have seen, the Huincul Formation offers a remarkable glimpse into a world long gone, a dry and arid environment where life thrived despite the challenges. The discovery of Maposaurus and its evolutionary adaptations, along with its complex relationships within the Giganotosaurus, reveals how much we still have to learn about these ancient giants. The presence of a diverse fauna and flora, captured through the fossil record, highlights the richness of this ecosystem. Each new discovery in these fossil beds, whether of a vertebrate or a grain of pollen, adds another piece to the puzzle of Earth's ancient history. As paleontologists continue to unearth more information from this formation, we can only imagine the new stories these rocks will tell about life millions of years ago. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more fascinating insights into the world of dinosaurs and the environments they called home.